Hello everyone, Bashar here. So uh, for Hearthstone, we have transitioned into the Year of the Phoenix and Year of the Dragon is now over. Uh, and as a result, uh, some of the expansions have migrated into Wild as usual. The Year of the Raven expansions uh, have rotated into Wild. These are Richwood, uh, the Boomsday Project and Rastakan's Rumble and some of the cards also have been full of fame some uh, priest cards and some uh, classic cards uh, along with uh, <coughs> other major updates uh, in year of the uh, phoenix the uh, ranked system has been completely changed i think i am legend yeah i am legend in both so though uh, it's like the league of legends or blah blah dota format i mean there are leagues called bronze silver gold uh, platinum and diamond each of these have 10 uh, sub ranks for example bronze 10 bronze 9 bronze 8 blah blah and uh, as you descend in uh, ranks i mean uh, so the bigger number is worse so to speak i mean so bronze one is higher than bronze 10 etc uh, and uh, each of these ranks have uh, three stars in each uh, so a league has a total of 30 stars uh, and every uh, time the season resets every time a month ends you start from bronze 10 so how is this better than the old system uh, the uh, this new system has more rewards first of all uh, and you get a, a multiplier to your rank uh, till you uh, climb to a certain position till you climb to your last rank for example if you have uh, finished the season at legend uh, the next season you receive a star multiplier of 10 so every uh, win counts as 10 stars for you and this also applies to the win streak as well so for example i start uh, the season from uh, bronze 10 i win a match i climb up to bronze 7 uh, and i win another and i climb up to bronze 4 uh, and i win another and i climb up to silver 6 or something like that because i will receive 20 stars uh, but as you keep winning the uh, your multiplier keeps decaying uh, and it uh, runs out at diamond five at the highest i think or uh, lower if your uh, rank was lower so let me show you the rewards the month the rewards are like this for reaching legend seven standard rares one uh, standard epic and five ashes of outland packs for reaching legend and this is every month and there is also a one-time reward for reaching the multiples of five like this i mean reaching bronze five has a reward reaching silver 10 has a reward silver five etc etc and uh, the rewards are not identical to these they are different but they are one time i mean and at legend you get a uh, you get a legendary uh, but that's like i said one time i mean you don't have to do it over and over but if you want this reward you have to do it over and over i mean uh, at the end of april i will receive the seven rares one epic and five packs and if i want the same reward uh, in may as well i will have to climb to legend again so the blizzard also uh, made something nice and uh, updated the new and returning player experience uh, if you haven't logged uh, for the last uh, four months or if you are a new player uh, after leaving the new player ranks uh, you will uh, select a class and you will receive a deck for, for it uh, the mage deck is pretty decent i mean uh, it can be upgraded uh, to a 
series standard deck with uh, minimal investment so that's very nice it has like three legendaries in it uh, and what's more you, you know there is a protection protection for legendaries let me find one yep for example there's kind here so uh, if you open a legendary from a pack for example you, you open the kind from ashes of outland and then you will not receive another kind until uh, you unlock all the legendaries in uh, the ashes of outland expansion so so this is a sort of protection you do not get the same legendary until you have completed everything and now blizzard has uh, extended this protection to all rarities so uh, unless you have completed all the commons in an expansion you will receive new commons unless you have completed all rares you will receive new rares from packs uh, but if you have completed all commons or rares i mean you will just keep receiving random commons and rares that doesn't change i mean uh, this protection does not uh, upgrade the rarities you will receive from a pack but uh, it just uh, makes you complete uh, the commons and rares much much easier and the epics of course so that's also very nice as well i mean uh, now you can complete I mean with like 60 packs or something you can complete all commons and rares that's very nice to have uh, there's also that the, i have talked about the rank system i have talked about the new and returning play uh, the protection uh, is there something else well of course as you can see the demon hunter is here uh, and we were given uh, i think 20 basic cards or something like that let me find it yep yep so oh no only 10 basic cards so there are 10 basic cards in total for demon hunter uh, which means these cards will not rotate ever unless blizzard decide, decides to hall of fame one of them but i don't think so so these cards will remain forever however uh, you might remember the initiate set which was given to us at the end of a quest line where we unlocked the demon hunter class these cards uh, belong to the year of the dragon uh, for rotation purposes so in 2021 where the new standard year will come and the year of the dragon expansions will retire these cards will retire as well so in 2021 uh, april uh, we will lose Rise, Rise of Shadows, Saviors of Uldum, Descent of Dragons, and Galactron's Awakening Adventure, and these initiate cards. They will all migrate to Vile. Uh, in the Year of the Phoenix, all expansions will contain 15 Demon Hunter cards and 10 of each other class. So there's that. I mean, Demon Hunter will receive more cards and uh, Demon Hunter was extremely, extremely overpowered when it was first released. Sadly, that was a bad design on Blizzard's part, in my opinion. I mean, uh, it looks like the class was uh, not playtested at all or very little playtested because almost every single card was overpowered and the class totally dominated. Uh, when it was first released, uh, in arena and standard uh, it was the only class that had a win rate above 50 percent i mean it brought all nine classes to below 50 percent on its own and demon hunter had more than 60 percent win rate uh, so that's a bit crazy i mean of course it's a new class it's a bit hyped it can be expected that it should be a little bit overpowered maybe but this much is insane so uh, as you might know uh, demon hunter received a lot of nerves for example this guy was 2-2 two -two, now it's a 1-2 uh, the uh, lifesteal weapon was 2-3 now it's 2-2 two -two. Uh, skull of Gul'dan was 5 mana now it's 6 mana 
Uh, this guy costed zero with outcast. Now it costs one. Outreach was three mana, three, two. Blah, blah, blah. Tons of nerfs. And on top of it, uh, it still was too good in arena. Uh, and uh, Blizzard decided to uh, decrease the appearance rate of winning cards. So Blizzard has a lot of statistics and they can look at uh, our decks and say uh, people with Illidari Fellblade win uh, for example 60% of their matches when they played with Outcast on turn 4 or something like that and they say okay this is a definitely a good card and let's uh, nerf the appearance rate uh, of Illidari Fellblade in Arena and they do this to every single good card and now Demon Hunter is officially the worst class in Arena by far, sadly. Uh, I think it's a bit sad because, I mean, it's a new class and we all want to reach 500 wins for the Golden Hero Power, 1000 wins for the Alternative Hero Portrait, and now it's not possible to do it in Arena. I have uh, playtested this myself. Uh, I mean, right after the Arena nerf, I tried to play Demon Hunter twice. Uh, not, not a very satisfactory experience, I can tell you. I mean, you don't really get any good cards at all. Almost. It's horrible. Uh, I mean, there are tons of good cards, you just don't receive them. I mean, they do not appear in your arena choices. Uh, and I think it's a frustrating way to balance stuff. I mean, you, you know there are a ton of good cards in the class, you just don't see them ever at all. Uh, it's a bit annoying, so it's now the worst class in uh, Arena, and I think in Standard it's still okay. I mean, the nerfs have been substantial, but the class was extremely overpowered. St it's still in a good shape. I mean, Tempo Demon Hunter decks are still decent. Uh, I mean, the Warlock Sacrificial Pack nerf uh, also managed that. I mean, in case you don't know, let me show you. Yep. Okay, this card uh, used to be able to be target uh, enemy demons as well. I mean, and uh, demon hunters run a lot of demons, so you just assassinate uh, your opponent's fattest demon for zero mana and gain fire life. That's very, very good. And now it can only target friendly demons, so uh, Galakron Warlock uh, is not very, very popular anymore. So in standard we have Murloc Paladin, uh, Galakrond Secret Rogue, uh, Tempo Demon Hunter, and some uh, Hunter variants, Face Hunter, uh, Highlander Hunter, Dragon Hunter. Uh, there is Spell Druid, which is uh, powerful, and well, the rest is changing. I mean, the rest is pretty close, but these are the powerful stuff. So. That's uh, the first few highlights from the year of the Phoenix. Uh, I'm hoping uh, the Demon Hunter cards will be more balanced in the next expansion. So if you have any questions, feel free to ask. I'll be glad to help. See you. Bye bye.